Hello friends. My name is Miss Justine with Compass Mark. Welcome back to my classroom. I am so happy to see you again. We have been talking a lot about making good choices. To think and choose that will lead to great decisions. Staying healthy and finding a trusted adult. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Oh, hello Blue Bear. Do you remember Blue Bear from our last lesson? Hello, friends. Hi, Blue Bear. Okay, Blue Bear, I will help you in a minute. Bye for now. Bye, friends. Blue Bear has a great question. He knows when to ask a trusted adult for help when he isn't feeling well or if he finds a poison. He knows that I am a trusted adult for him. Today, he asked for help to cut an apple. There are many times you may have to ask for help when you are feeling well. He asked for help because he needs an adult to help him use a knife. Think of other times you need help. Remember those for later. Asking for help is a sign that you are growing up. Yes! Everyone asks for help from time to time. When you feel sad, worried, or unsafe, you need to tell a trusted adult. Remember your picture or your list of trusted adults from a previous lesson. Hmm, we've made a few of those. Think again about those trusted adults in your life. Can you think of more trusted adults? Where do you see them? Are they at home or at school, at a doctor's office or at practice? Where do you see those trusted adults? Remember those adults for later. Sometimes they might be very busy or distracted with something else. So some ways to tell an adult you need their help are important. It is important to use clear and direct language when getting an adult's attention. One more time. It is important to use clear and direct language when getting an adult's attention. Here's a great way to ask them. You can say, I have something important I need to tell you, or I have a problem, excuse me, or excuse me, can you help me with something important? These phrases are a great way to get a busy adult's attention. When you are in a classroom, do you raise your hand? To get your teacher's attention, you can answer a question or ask for help. It is a great way for your teacher to know that you need help. Now that you have their attention, you need to be clear about why. Why do you need their help? Explaining why you feel a certain way or what you need help with will help the adult determine best way to help you. You were upset that a friend was angry with you. Mm. And your shoelace is untied. You do not know how to tie your shoelace. Mm. You found a trusted adult, but you only say, excuse me, I need help. And looks good. The adult may think you need help tying your shoe. It is very important to tell the adults why you are sad. That way they can help you. Ah, I'm tired. Are you tired in the morning? Sometimes you can be tired and you know why. You can tell an adult in a clear and direct way. I am scared at night because it's dark and I cannot fall asleep. Letting an adult know why you cannot fall asleep 
and why you were tired will help them know that they need to help you with the dark so you won't be scared. Let's think of one more example. You get home from school, but you cannot find your pet. Find that trusted adult. Can you help me with something important? I am worried because my pet is missing. Then you will find some help to find your pet. There may be different trusted adults at different places for you. Think about all the places you go. Most of the time, you're either at home or at school. You might play a sport or visit with a doctor. Right now, it's time for your activity. You're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil or crayon or markers, whatever you would like to use to color with. Take your piece of paper. You could draw a line straight down the middle, draw a picture of your home or school, or you could write the words. And I want you to think, who are the trusted adults that you have at home if you need help? Make a list or draw some pictures. Who are the trusted adults at school? Make a list, draw some pictures. It's okay whichever you choose. Think about these people when you need help. Think about how you can ask for help. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you when you ask. I look forward to seeing your lists and your pictures. Please remember to leave them in the comments or send them on over. I can't wait to see who it is. I'm gonna go help Blue Bear now. Cut his apple with a knife. Bye for now.